I got my jewel ringer idea. It's instead of using a transistor, it's a relay. It's kind of like a transistor. You just this thing turns off and on constantly. You just have to touch the bulb to light it up, though. Yeah, I had it working earlier. Maybe it's just the windings. I'm going to switch those around. There goes the relay. Yep, I think I did something wrong. Let me tap it on one of the leads without getting shocked. Okay, I don't get shocked by that, but for some reason, this thing is really messing up now. Ouch, that's hot. Because the light bulb you can see there, half of it is running. So maybe these two right here. It'll hear a little buzz, but I'll be back in a second. There we go. So yeah, it's just the uh, connections on this transformer. You can see here, it's a relay from Radio Shack. 12 volt relay, you can see... I don't know if you can see that, but it turns off and on constantly without any arcs. So this will last longer than a transistor. This probably won't burn out. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug my voltmeter to it, see what we're reading here. Um, move this. I know it's kind of messy in here. Okay, so, so put on the highest setting and check if I can see it. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna stick these on there. Oops, trying to forget. Okay, so now, since we don't have it on, there we go. It is unreadable. It's showing three volts. Maybe I need to put on. For some reason, there's no power. It's showing that there isn't any power going to it. <laughs> we need a bridge rectifier just to see it. I'm going to try it down here, I guess. One volt. I just got this meter, so it's kind of hard to understand how to do this. Uh, let's see how much resistance. Oops. <laughs> oh, I shorted it out. That's what happened. Yeah. When you, te you test the, hang on, see if it's...